The belt, round number one. Black trucks for the champion Francesco Ricci. Blue trucks for Dave Mundell. Mundell immediately to the outside. Wants to establish his outside game. Use his patience, use his timing. Mutual respectful start between both fighters, Chris. Absolutely, they both respect each other's power. It's going to be a tactical fight. With a slight diversion with the jab of Mundell up and down, and then straight from the southpaw stance. That's the thing about Mundell, he's so unpredictable right there. That makes it much more difficult. If you get into a guy, the rhythm, you know what he's going to do. He continues to throw that jab, you can counter. Mundell makes that very difficult. There's the uppercut on the inside. Well defended by Mundell. He really turned over that right hand. 60 seconds remaining, round number one, big right hand, and down goes the champion, Francesco Ricci. Nothing new for Ricci, though. He's been down several times in fact, but that was a beautiful punch right there by Dave Mondale. Up at eight. We'll see how hard now Mondale goes for the first round finish. I think he's a jump all over him right now, continue to come with hard punches. Mandel with the feints. There is the answer, Mundell staying composed, not rushing into anything after dropping Riki here in round one. He knows Riki can be very dangerous when he's hurt. Big right hand and another knockdown, number two. Francesco Ricci. Massive round number one for Dave Mundell. There is the bell. Come up. Tom Schofield, you'll see him next in our main event versus the 155 pound champion, Luis Palomino. Round number two of this fight, our co-main for the BKFC 175 pound champion. And you can tell that Ricci right now feels like he's got to get that back. He's up the pace quite a bit right now, which is great, except for it leaves it open for even more shots. Big right hand from Mundell, another right hand. Up to the body. Jessica Ricci trying to feel his way and indeed pull himself back into this fight. He's done it before, Sean. See the feints, the level changes for Mundell. Ricky with the right hand. That's a good job for Ricky right now. He's not just sitting there waiting on his opponent and trying to count him. He needs to get off first. Mundell is too good and too creative to just wait for him to tee off on him. Straight right hands from the champion, Ricky. Came off Mundell. In this center circle, you see the smear of blood on the left side of Ricky's face. Jab from Francesco Ricky. 45 seconds remaining, round two. Mundell staying so elusive on the outside. But exploding in with power just like that. On cue overhand right from Dave Mundell. Ricky with the straight left. Mundell doing those little level changes and head fakes. Disrupting the rhythm right there, Francisco Ricky. Ricky to the inside. Go right back to the outside. 15 seconds now remaining round two. Blue right uppercut lands for Ricky. That was well timed on the entry from Mundell. Mundell, you see the head movement, the feints on the level change, the duck under. Swelling now under Mundell's left eye. The bell, we move to round three. The free Samberto starts round number three. Fast start off of the stretch line here in round number three for Francesco Ricci. Once again, I feel like Ricci feels a sense of urgency right now. He knows he's not liking the pace of this fight. Knows he's down right now. He's going to have to do something different. Ricci dropped twice by Mundell in round number one. Again, no open scoring in Florida. We're not privy to the scorecards, but these judges are normally on point. You would think 10 7 across the board. There's a stats right there. You can see. I think he's throwing more punches, but much better percentage right now for Mondale. 
Headshot, same thing. Mundell's landed 50%. Ricky's landed in 23. However, Ricky has landed more. You see Mundell cut inside his right brow, and Mundell lands a big right hand, overhand left. Mundell now to the body. That was a devastating body shot. That knocked Ricky back. That He felt that one, Sean. It's really slowed the pace right there. Ricky was coming forward. That body punch did a lot of damage. Dell with the jab to the body. Hey, look, I body told shot, you. knocked down, knocked down number three. You could just tell from that. I don't know if he's getting up from this because when you get hit to the body, you can't breathe. Very difficult. Wow, very impressed right now. Ricky's ability to get up from that punch. And let's see if Mundell doesn't go to the body again, try and finish this fight right here. That straight left to the body is devastating. Mundell has been brilliant to this stage in the fight. Level changes, body, head, head, body. Very creative, very elusive. Targeting that body right there. He can tell the damage he's done with it already. It's going to make we not be able to punch. Huge left hand! We might be done and we are! Dave Mundell is the new BKFC 175-pound champion. Beautiful performance right there. Masterful. Just made it so unpredictable when he's going to throw the punch, where it was going to come from. Dave Mundell did a fantastic job. That's the best we've seen him look, Sean. What a left hand, just waiting for the right time. Waiting for his opponent to throw a punch. Landed right on the button right there. He saw that little jab coming. He threw his straight left out the pipe. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee in charge, Sam Burgos, steps in and calls a stop to this fight. At 1 minute 48 seconds into round number three for your winner by KO. KFC World Middleweight Champion, Dave the 